my name is Lon Safko, co-author of the Social Media Bible, published by John Wiley and Sons, the most comprehensive book ever written on the subject of social media. And today we are here with Patrizio Spagnoletto. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Uh, Senior Director of Marketing for Yahoo Search Marketing. And we're going to be speaking today about Yahoo Search Marketing and social me- media. So, Patricio, uh, it's great to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you. Um, can you tell uh, the listeners a little bit about yourself and w- what you do over at um, Yahoo? Sure. I've been with uh, Yahoo for about seven and a half years. And in my current role, I manage the marketing team for the search marketing product, which is basically the product where small and medium-sized businesses or businesses of all sizes can get listed in Yahoo search results um, through this product. Okay, so we're basically talking about the department that actually runs the sponsored link section of Yahoo. That's right. And to be more specific, it's the marketing part. So our team really focuses on the awareness of the product, customer acquisition and retention, and just making sure that our customers overall are getting the most out of their investment with us once uh, they start participating in the sponsor search world. And that happens through education, uh, communication, and um, three is obviously innovation of products that we bring, whether it's products or features of the current uh, sponsor search product. And I got to tell you, you guys are really awesome, especially when you combine that with your Yahoo store. Um, I was uh, one of the silent authors on two books that we just did about Yahoo, uh, creating your Yahoo store and succeeding at your Yahoo store. And uh, they've been very successful books. And it's because of the partnership with Yahoo and and teaming really with the uh, SEM part of it or, or search engine marketing. Can you tell our listeners, if they don't understand what SEM or search engine marketing is, can you explain just a little bit how that works? Sure. Let me do that by putting on our consumer hat on. When somebody goes to a search engine on Yahoo.com and searches for, let's say, cars, or more specifically, a used Honda, what that user has just done is show an explicit intent that they are looking for and willing to purchase that specific product. Now, if you flip that and put your advertiser or your marketing hat on, that is probably the single most qualified lead that you'll ever be able to receive because unlike other marketing mediums, in sponsored search, it's the user that tells us that they're interested in buying our product and service. And this all happens in context of a search engine results page. So the cool thing about search engine marketing is is that you're you're actually getting the customer when they're in pretty much the buying phase of of the buying funnel and they are telling you very specifically by the words that they're using exactly the product that they're looking for and that they're ready to buy. That's correct. So that's significantly more effective than any other kinds of marketing such as newspaper or magazine, radio, television where you just kind of throw it out there and hope that it hits the ears or the eyes of a person at the exact moment that they want your product. That's correct. And in fact, when you think about it in context of direct response, meaning when a business wants to increase their sales, I really don't think there's any other marketing medium out there that is as effective as sponsor search. And we've done a lot of research to kind of uh, justify a, a statement like that. Having said that, marketers have multiple objectives, you know, whether it's direct response and sponsor search does a great role there. But if it's awareness, you know, there are some of the other mediums, you know, whether, like you mentioned, television in the offline world, but you know, graphical and display, which obviously Yahoo is a major player in. It's really the combination of the two Mm -hmm. that makes a business be really successful where the sum of the two is much greater than the individual parts. And Yahoo is really in a unique position in that it's truly the only business that can offer the two products on an own and operated site, meaning on the Yahoo site you can buy banners and you can buy sponsor search and therefore really create a, call it a 360 campaign where you can surround the user with both graphical and sponsor search. See, I love that synergy. And again, for the uh, users that are not familiar with banner advertising, can you just give us just a few words on what that is and how you guys do that? Sure. Banner advertising is what most of us see when we go on pretty much any site, if you will. It's those graphical advertisements. Uh, You know, sometimes they involve video or, or what we call rich media, or sometimes they're just static images. But it's a graphical way, if you will, to come for an advertiser to convey their message. And Yahoo, as I mentioned, is a, a leader in that space, has been, honestly, since the inception of Yahoo. And um, we are very good at uh, targeting 
users through some of our own proprietary data on the back end in the way that we are able to target, whether it be demographic, behavioral, or, or um, geographic, are just some of the ways that we're able to match graphical advertisements with the users. Because unlike search, where you have the benefit of the user actually telling you what it is that they're looking for, with graphical, it's really about the more general persona of the person that is visiting and frequenting the site. Okay, so as an entrepreneur or a small business, even a medium-sized business, I can actually go in and purchase banner ads that show up on sites around the world. You can. Um, what we typically tell our small business customers is, first and foremost, we ask them, what is your objective? If their objective is really around direct response, that is a clear signal that they should really be investing at least their first trunk of money, if you will, into sponsor search because, as we mentioned before, that is by far the most effective medium to garner more sales. And for sponsor search, it is very easy to sign up on Yahoo. You can do so online through a self-serve process, or you can literally just call in where we have reps that can help you go through the sign-up process. Um, the latter, honestly, being um, very unique to Yahoo, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is really helping our prospects and customers by being literally just a phone call away for prospects. So you guys, I mean, you make it really kind of simple for somebody who wants to start their own keyword ad campaign. I mean, you, you have online, which is kind of step by step, and then you actually have people that you can phone into. That's right. And when you phone into uh, for the sign-up process, what they'll do is they'll walk you through the actual online sign-up form, but with the benefit of just giving you some of the best practices of thinking through uh, for example, what keywords to choose or how to write a title and description. And so that's available right now. Well, that's incredible help because a lot of people don't do it simply because I think they're, they're just afraid because they don't understand it and they think that it's, it's complicated and it's expensive. But if you're there to help them step by step, that's a, that's a heck of a service. Yeah, well, we, we think it's extremely valuable because, as you probably know, small businesses are experts at what they do. They're not necessarily experts at advertising, let alone sponsor search advertising. And so we feel it's almost our responsibility, and you know, to be honest with you, it's in our best interest to make sure that these customers get set up correctly the first time around so that they can start receiving the best results right off the bat. I love that. I mean, that's really good customer service, and, and that's an expensive form of customer service to, to have people on the phone there helping you step by step. Well, we believe in it. So, you know, as long as uh, it makes sense for us and the customers, uh, I, I think it's something that we'll continue to do. Well, that's really important. That's great. Uh, it just kind of on a sidebar, didn't uh, Yahoo Search Engine Marketing, didn't that used to be called uh, Overture a few years ago? That's right. Actually, you can trace it all the way back to a company that was called GoTo.com, huh? which started in the late 1990s. That company then rebranded to Overture, which subsequently was purchased by Yahoo. Uh, and then we brought it to Yahoo Search Marketing. So we are, um, you know, through the go-to days, quite honestly, the pioneers of paid search. Um, we are the ones who invented the category, which is now a category that represents more than half of total online spending. So it's, you know, something that's kind of good, a, a good thing for us to, to think back on. <laughs> that's, a, that's significant and historical for Yahoo. That's right. <laughs> when, when you talk about SEM, and again, I think a lot of people are afraid that uh, it'll cost a lot of money because it can kind of run away, but isn't it, it, it's really inexpensive, very cost effective, but isn't it simply, uh, it's kind of an auction-like setting where you're bidding against other people on words, but really, you're not talking about a lot of money, and if nobody clicks on it, you don't have to pay anything. Is that correct? That's correct. So. Our model is what we call a pay-per-click model, or frequently referred to as PPC. So the first comparison is to pretty much all other mediums. So let's say you're buying a newspaper ad or you know, anything that is offline. There is a fixed cost to those purchases, which you may or may not recuperate depending on how many people actually purchase your product. So in a newspaper, you'll buy a, you know, say a half page for whatever, say $1,000, and I'm making up these numbers, of course. Um, and that is a sunk cost, and you're going to try and make it up. Whereas with Yahoo Search Marketing in a PPC or paper or click model, you only pay when somebody actually clicks on your listing on the Yahoo Search results. And the price is not set by us. It's actually set by the advertiser. And this is what you're referring to as a bidded model. If you think of every keyword marketplace as a, as a 
exactly that, a marketplace, advertisers will bid to be listed in that, uh, in, that in those search results. Now, it's important to note that it's not just how much you bid that determines your position. Um, there are other factors in there, including the quality of the listing, because we want to make sure that the experience for the users is optimal. And so quality of the listing, meaning we want to make sure that it's a relevant result for our user. And we reward or honestly penalize if the listing is not good. And that's a really good point, too, because uh, really, I mean, Yahoo is famous for re returning relevant searches. And the more relevant the search is, the easier it is for the customer to use, and that's really where you get customer retention. And if you apply that to the advertising, that means that if I search for a particular term, those, the advertisement that's going to come up is really going to be the, the most efficient and the best advertising that's going to suit my particular needs. Is that correct? That's exactly right. Okay, uh, so really, what, and in this bidding type situation, uh, really you're only just paying a few cents more than what your competitor is willing to bid, if you're willing to do that? Is that, I mean? Well, yes and no. If all listings are created equal, meaning that the quality of each of the listings is exactly the same, then um, the amount you bid is really what will determine. Um, who shows up first, if you will, and second, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. But I, I put that caveat of the listing quality because it's a really important one. So let me give you an example and an, an extreme one. If Let's go back to our used Honda car. If I am an advertiser and my listing says, buy the best car ever at my site now, and by contrast, your listing says, quality used Honda cars at reasonable prices. Mm. My guess is that your listing is of much higher quality than mine because it speaks specifically to what the user was looking for. Sure. And as a result, even if I am bidding, say, 60 cents per click and you're bidding 20 cents per click, you may actually show up higher than me because of the quality of your listing. And again, all the numbers are completely fictitious, but it's just to prove the point. That makes a heck of a lot of sense. Um, how do you, during the dot bomb, during the 1999, 90, 2000, um, we had our Yahoo store, and uh, we, matter of fact, we were one of the earliest people to um, actually have a Yahoo store. And the, the model kind of changed from impressions to pay-per-click because we all thought that we were all going to get rich on impressions. Isn't kind of the cool thing, too, about this that even if somebody doesn't happen to click on your link, you're still getting that branding, you're still getting the, those impressions? Absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, it becomes even more important when you combine it with our display advertising because it's multiple impressions that the user sees. So if you imagine a banner that talks about your used Honda car sales and then they actually I finally do a search query and then again see your listing um, and recognize the name of your company because they've seen it on a banner, that's what I was referencing to as the two pieces really working hand in hand mm -hmm. to increase not only the, the awareness of the brand, but ultimately in a product like that, the click-through rate and, and obviously the sales that follow. Excellent. So if somebody wanted to get started, I mean, they can just go to, to yahoo.com. I mean, is it, is it difficult? Is it expensive? I mean, how, what, what's actually the process in, in just a few words? Sure. So if you go to yahoo.com, there's a couple of links that will take you to our sign-up process. The easiest one is at the bottom of the page, so it's literally search marketing, so very descriptive. And after you go through a couple of pages that tell, help you understand what the product is about, like I've done for you now, mm -hmm. there are, uh, at the core, really four steps. The first one is um, targeting, so understanding whether you want your listings to appear to the entire nation or any specific geographical component mm. uh, or area. The second is choosing your keywords. Uh, so like the used Honda is a perfect example of what we mean as a keyword. Uh, the third is uh, determining how much you want to bid. So back to your example of you know, your paying per click, and we refer to that from the advertiser perspective of, as your bid. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, obviously, is your total budget, monthly budget. And uh, with Yahoo Search Marketing, you can start your campaigns for as little as $30. Wow. Although I'll be honest with you, um, we encourage our advertisers to not stay down at that limit, not because we want them to spend more with us, obviously. Um, uh, that may be an obvious answer, but quite honestly, it's because 
in many categories today, they have become fairly competitive. And so we want our advertisers to make sure that they have enough money in their accounts so that their listings appear and get enough click through rate so that they start to get the return that they're looking for. So it's, it's one of those uh, models where you have a little bit of uh, efficiencies of scale. And if you spend a little bit more, you'll actually see a lot more return. And by the way, when I say a little bit more, I don't mean in the thousands of dollars. I mean, for most advertisers, honestly, you know, a couple hundred dollars is more than enough to kind of get the feel of how this product works and then, you know, start deciding if they want to invest more in it. Uh, and I, that's absolutely true, too. Is, it, is there is some kind of a sweet spot that I hear about where if you pick one word, it's really general. Everybody's trying to buy it. You pay a lot for it. You don't get a really good rate of return. But by adding a second, third, or even sometimes a fourth word, you can kind of get this sweet spot that's very specific and, and possibly less expensive per click. Sure. So let's go back to our example. If somebody, types in, if somebody selects the keyword car, that is an extremely broad word. And so... If I am selling used Honda cars, well, if I put my listing under the keyword car, I'm going to get all sorts of people, and not necessarily all of them will be looking what I have to sell. But if I choose as a keyword used Honda cars, then almost by default, I am limiting the queries or the users to the ones who are looking for exactly what I have to sell. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two benefits in doing so. The first is what I just mentioned is a much more qualified prospect for you. And the second is from a pricing perspective, terms that are that have you know one or two or three, uh, sorry, two or more terms in a keyword phrase are generally speaking a little bit less expensive than the, what we call head terms like car. And so if you combine the two, you're basically getting better qualified leads at a lower cost, and that's really the best of both worlds for advertisers. <laughs> so is there any surprise why uh, Yahoo search marketing is as successful as it is and newspapers and, and some of the other conventional mediums are, are kind of trailing off? I mean, <laughs> you spend less but get more effective advertising. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I, uh, I try not to kind of put down some of the other mediums but you know, when we do our own marketing here, we obviously do. Our, we use our own product in our marketing team, and I can tell you, uh, you know, hands down, that pay search is the most cost-effective medium for us. And I totally agree. As I said earlier, that um, I've had a store with you guys for almost a decade, and when I first started doing SEM, search engine marketing, I, I really wasn't too sure about it because in my career I was comfortable with all of the other conventional mediums. So we had set up this program and we put some money into it. And I got to tell you, right out of the gate, and every day for the last ten years, every dollar that we put into you, we get between a three hundred and a six hundred percent rate of return on that investment. Yeah, and I'll tell you, that's actually not uncommon. So if an advertiser knows what they're doing, and I really emphasize that, uh, because there's a lot of advertisers who come in with the expectation that they can set up an account in 10 minutes and all of a sudden see sales fly, <laughs> that's not going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. But if you know what you're doing, and by that I mean literally take the time to learn the account and the interface and the features that are there at your disposal, and take the time to manage it, um, then you will see the returns that you are describing, and we have you know countless of advertisers who see those on a daily basis, which is quite honestly why they stay with us. Uh, and and that's kind of going back to the objective of our team is to make sure that our advertisers really do clearly and simply understand how to optimize their accounts. So you mentioned the word uh, manage, and that to me says that it's probably a good idea not to just go after one set of keywords, but set up multiple keyword accounts so that you can switch the words around and put a little bit of money into each of those and kind of hit it from different angles. Does, is that what some of the customers do? Yeah, I mean, what uh, most customers will do is they'll set up, they're set up with a single account or a single campaign, if you will, and they'll choose a few keywords and use that as a starting point for their learning. So in most accounts, 20% of your keywords will drive 80% of your sales. And mm -hmm. so if you look at the keywords that are being most effective for you, then what you'll want to do as a next natural step is to start thinking about keywords that are closely related to the ones that are best performing. And that's how you build out your keyword portfolio. Another thing that you may do is, let's say you are a, 
a retailer and you sell everything from tennis shoes to uh, fishing poles, you may want to start with your tennis shoes piece and create a campaign for those and really get to understand how it works there and then create another campaign for your fishing pole department, if you will, with the keywords tightly bucketed into that campaign so that you can manage the two almost like a portfolio of, of your various products. New advertisers, you know, take it easy. Start slow. Start with, you know, 15 to 20 keywords and a moderate budget and then grow as you learn how to, how to best leverage the product. And that's really great advice. Um, I, I taught SEO, SEM uh, in about 100 cities uh, each year for the last several years. And I bumped into somebody in Portland one time that I was actually managing simultaneously over 150 keyword campaigns. Yep. And he was, he was successful at all of them. That's right. I mean, we have advertisers who manage literally the thousands and thousands of keywords. I mean, really? these are obviously much more sophisticated advertisers. And when you get to that point, you know, there are tools that are available to you, whether they be offered by Yahoo or third parties, that can help you manage, you know, such volumes uh, in a more efficient manner. And that's a really good point, too. Tools. I mean, you, you uh, likened doing search engine marketing similar to managing a portfolio of, say, stocks and bonds. But uh, or do you provide some tools so that we can monitor what the click-through rates are and what keywords are performing better than others? We do. In our... Uh account management platform, there is a variety of tools and tracking mechanisms that can help you understand everything from which keywords drive the most clicks to which ones drive the most sales mm -hmm. to your cost per sale and everything in between. And uh, uh, we, we really, really want to make sure that our advertisers have those at their disposal because, quite honestly, they need to action on a success, whether it be a sale or a lead or whatever it may be. And those tools are free. They are. I mean, how can you go wrong? Again, I mean, we're talking about advertising where if for some reason nobody clicks, you don't pay anything. All the tools, the entire program, is a, really it's 100% free. That's right, which is why we uh, encourage and you know, leverage this opportunity to encourage as many small and medium-sized businesses uh, to uh, come on over to you know, yahoo.com and click on that link at the bottom of the page and, and give it a try, and uh, we're here for them. I love that. One uh, last question on this subject is uh, fraud. I know a couple of years ago when uh, search engine became really uh, search engine marketing became really popular, uh, competitors were just sitting there continuously clicking on your link to burn up your budget. It, do you have systems in place to protect us from that? We have more systems in place than I think you probably even care to know. <laughs> and quite honestly, the vast majority of them, I can't really speak of them because mm -hmm. I don't even know about the details. As you can imagine, we want to make sure that um, the fraud team, if you will, is continuously and very actively looking at patterns to protect our advertisers from the um, activity that you just described. But it is something that we, and I think the industry as a whole, takes extremely seriously. And I really appreciate that you work that hard to protect my budget, uh, because especially for the, the entrepreneur and the small business person, uh, it's critical to us. But no company really wants to lose money, so it's really nice to know that you, you have an entire fraud division that just kind of keeps an eye on this. Uh, one other thing, uh, success stories. Can you mention any either statistics or companies, somebody that you can kind of quote that um, uses SEM and has had some success with you? Uh, you know, there's, uh, there's uh, a few companies that we can talk about. I mean, there's anyone from big companies like, you know, Lending Tree and Amazon all the way down to small companies that you probably never heard of. But probably the better statistic is that we literally have hundreds of thousands of advertisers with us today. And uh, like I said at the beginning, and I'll say now kind of to wrap it up for you, is that these are advertisers that stay with us because we make it worth their while um, by providing them the sales that they're looking for. Perfect timing. It's uh, time to wrap up. Is there anything else that uh, you'd like to share with our listeners about uh, Yahoo Search Engine Marketing? No. Give us a try. I think you'll be really satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so what's that web link again so that they can get started with their campaigns? Searchmarketing.yahoo.com. That's real easy. Uh, I'd really like to uh, thank um, uh, Pat Patricio <laughs> Spagnoletto, Senior Director of Marketing for Yahoo Search Engine Marketing, for being with us here today. Uh, thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you.
That's great. Uh, this has been Lon Safko, the co-author of the Social Media Bible. Uh, be sure to check out our other valuable social media tactics, tools, and strategies that can be found in the Social Media Bible book and its companion website, www.thesocialmediabible. And for more information about me, Lon Safko, please go on over to my site at www.lonsafko.com. And again, uh, Patricio, thank you very much for being here today. 